Manchester United are currently eighth in the Premier League after a dismal 2-0 defeat away at West Ham. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not immune to a lot of the criticism that is being pointed towards Manchester United. But what exactly is Solskjaer to blame for? In this video, I want to try and be as objective as possible and to look at a few things that I think Solskjaer is responsible for that he can improve as a manager, but also take a look at the things that he isn't responsible for that are establishment problems at United that are outside of his control and to ultimately look at who is to blame for United's current problems. Now make sure you subscribe if you are new to United People's TV, but let's talk about this one. Before I take a look at the things that I don't think Solskjaer is responsible for, I'm gonna take a look at a few things that I think he can improve on. And the first is Solskjaer's in-game management, both from the starting 11s, to the tactics used, to the substitutions, to everything he can do to influence a 90-minute match as a manager, I think Solskjaer can improve in quite a lot of those areas. We still don't know whether he's good enough to be a United manager, and we won't know that for a long time. But if we're looking at playing against teams that have a deeper-lying defence and United becoming unstuck against those teams, Solskjaer needs to find a solution to that problem. When it comes to starting 11, seeing Matic starting over Fred, I know that's not objective, but there's certain things that you can see will help a United team. And substitutions, is Solskjaer making the right subs at the right time? That can always be improved. So I think in terms of the in-game management, there is still more that Solskjaer can do as manager. And one look at United's away form, that's something that Solskjaer needs to massively, massively improve in his team. He won his first nine away games as United manager and hasn't won one since. That's horrendous. United's goal-scoring exploits are horrendous. Solskjaer needs to do that. Needs, Solskjaer needs to improve that team to get that team confident enough to play away from Old Trafford where seemingly playing in front of a 70,000 plus home crowd is getting better performances out of these players. Are they hiding away from home? What is it? Is it a whole combination of things? I think it is. But Solskjaer, as a manager, has to see the pattern emerging, has to realise that there's a problem and has to find a solution. That's his role as a football manager. And I don't think he's doing that enough, not when it comes to United away from home. And as for United's striking options this season, I think Solskjaer had two risks that he could have taken going into the season. Number one, keep Lukaku and Sanchez, who both didn't really want to be at United and try and get more out of them. Risk two get rid of Lukaku and Sanchez and believe that Mason Greenwood can come through with some goals and that Rashford and Martial can improve and cover the goals that you lose with Sanchez and Lukaku. Solskjaer took that second risk. It's backfiring right now. With Martial out injured, Rashford going off against West Ham with injury and Greenwood being ill meant that United had Lingard who scored one goal in his last 23 games playing against West Ham when we needed a goal. United are short up front. And it was a risk that Solskjaer took. If I'm being honest, I would prefer that he took the risk that he did than keep Lukaku and Sanchez around the club because I didn't think either of them should be here. But it was a risk that Solskjaer took. And as a manager, you've got to be responsible for the mistakes maybe that you do make. And in this sense, in current situation, Solskjaer's risk isn't paying off. But as much as I do think there are things that Solskjaer can do and change, there's a fucking load that is outside of his control. And the first thing you're looking at is this disjointed squad. It's still made up of players that were bought under Fergie, Van Gaal, Mourinho, and now Solskjaer, four managers. Jurgen Klopp didn't come into that Liverpool team and immediately get them playing as he is. He needed two to three windows and the confidence of a club to build a squad in his image. Now Solskjaer did that this summer in his three signings in Wambasaka, Maguire and James and they've been three of our better players this season, probably our three best. But this disjointed, depleted squad is a consequence of the abysmal recruitment that United have had over the last six years. Solskjaer is trying to pick up the pieces and put it all back together but he's not a miracle worker and that will not happen in one season. So a couple of injuries now we're seeing the massive shortfalls in this squad. And that isn't down to Solskjaer. That's the responsibility of United and the consequence of six years of mismanagement from top to bottom. And as well as looking at the squad as a whole, I think it was sheer and utter incompetence that United didn't sign a central midfielder this summer. 
it was abundantly obvious to every United fan that we needed a central midfielder this summer. Instead, we went through and we didn't buy one. No matter how many Bruno Fernandes or James Madison rumours were about. Right now, with Pogba being injured, Scott McTominay is United's best midfielder. And I've got nothing against McTominay. I love the kid and what he's doing and the improvement he's shown has been fantastic. But he's got less than 30 Premier League appearances. Scott McTominay should be the third, maybe fourth best midfielder at United. That's how good our central midfielder should be. Instead, we're scraping the barrel. Now, Pogba's injury is making it worse, obviously. But we had massive shortfalls in central midfield. And the fact that United have allowed Solskjaer to go into this season without a new one is utter, utter incompetence on a gigantic scale. That is how much of an obvious issue it was. And for United to have gone through the summer and not sign one, Lo and behold, our midfield's not good enough to compete even against West Ham. It's fucking embarrassing. It really is. And that's not down to Solskjaer. Again, that's down to the powers that be above him in charge of recruitment. And speaking about recruitment, as a whole, United have spent towards a billion pounds since Fergie retired. And in this last six years, we have got it wrong on, a, on an unprecedented scale as far as United are concerned. We finished that game against West Ham, chasing the game with the front six of Fred, McTominay, Angel Gomez, Dan James, Jesse Lingard, Andreas Pereira. It sounds like an under-23s game that we're playing there. But that was United's strongest options available at that time. Injuries have made it worse, clearly. But injuries happen every season in football. Everybody gets them. You have to be able to cope with them. But this United team is so threadbare and when you take certain players out, you're fucked. And Solskjaer, right now, that's exactly the situation he is in. And that poor recruitment, again, goes way above Solskjaer at United. And I think you can see the pattern that's emerging. That's, it's not a pattern that's emerging. The pattern emerged, settled, and kept growing. Because the last six years, nothing has changed. And it gets towards the crux of the issue. As much as Solskjaer is to blame for certain things, and as much as there's a lot that's outside of his control at the club, that is where you should be pointing your fingers. Don't be pointing towards Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and saying, oh, should we consider sacking him? Fuck off. You're absolutely mad. I mean, look at the statement that United released, saying that, look how much investment we've done in the last five, six years. Look how much coming through the academy increased investment, blah, 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 saying that the club, everybody at the club from the top down is focused on winning trophies. Who are you trying to kid with this statement? Pretty much every single decision that this club has made post-Fergie has been wrong. David Moyes was the wrong man. His signings were wrong for the club. Louis van Gaal was the wrong man. 90% of his signings were wrong for the club. Jose Mourinho was the wrong man. A lot of his signings haven't worked out. It's not just down to Solskjaer and the problems that he's got on the pitch and how he can solve them as a manager. The crux of the issue lies way above Solskjaer. And that has been the case for so long that it, I'm bored of saying it because we all know that the problems lie with the Glazers and Ed Woodward. But until United decide to finally pull their fucking finger out and change the structure of this club to mimic the modern structures that the likes of Liverpool, City and Spurs have all got in their football clubs, then United will never move forward as a football club anymore. We're going to be that establishment that talks about our previous glories of the 90s. We are turning into Liverpool bit by bit. But the most painful thing is that it's obvious what the issues are. It's not hard to see that the structure of the club is entirely wrong and the man in charge of the footballing decisions in Ed Woodward is incompetent for the role he is currently in. But will it ever change? With the Glazers owning United, their priorities lie in profits and dividends. And Ed Woodward delivers that 
every single damn year because he's a very good commercial businessman. <clears throat> but here we are, a few games into the season after what was a positive summer in some regards, with three good signings and I think the right sort of players leaving. I could see the start of this rebuild. But as soon as a few games kick in and patterns start to emerge and the United start dropping points and the performances go down to a low point of West Ham, fingers are now being pointed. But if anybody is pointing that finger at Solskjaer, where have you been for the last six years? Solskjaer is not the fucking problem. And if Solskjaer goes, whoever comes in, you're going to suffer the same consequences. Because right now, as it stands, United are forcing Solskjaer down a place which inevitably ends with him losing his job. The club thanking him. And with no long-term strategy, whoever comes in will start all over a fucking game. That's the issue at United. One step forward, two steps back, with no overarching vision to tie the club through. We've seen it under Van Howe and Moyes and Mourinho and we're seeing it again now under Solskjaer. And I can't tell you how fucking frustrating it is as a fan to see how obvious and abundantly obvious these errors are. Yet the powers that be at the club still don't want change. I'm sorry, but if we wanted a technical director, we would have got one by now. Well, United, it doesn't take a year to get a technical director. It's down to the desire to want a technical director. And Ed Woodward would lose power if one came in and did their job properly. So Woodward doesn't want one. And until United properly change the structure of the club, these issues will not disappear. Solskjaer is not to blame, but he'll be blamed. And he'll lose his job and another manager will come in. It's a travesty that this is happening and continuing to happen at United. But nothing is seemingly changing. But who is to blame for the crisis at United? It's Ed Woodward and it's the Glazers. It's not Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. As much as he can improve in certain aspects, which I've laid out there at the start of the video, he's the one who needs support from the fans. The players need to pull their socks up and not put in some sort of fucking abject performance against West Ham. That's down to them and their own mental capacity as a footballer. But Solskjaer is not to blame. The players aren't to blame. It's the structure of United over the last six years has allowed this to fester. And until that ever changes, we're going to do one step forward and two steps back. I had to get that off my chest because I don't want to see anybody throwing barbs at Solskjaer right now when it's clear as day to me that the issues do not lie with him. And as much as he could improve... We all know how it's going to end unless United change. Let me know what you think about the current situation at the United. I don't want to be doing this video, but what is it, a month or a bit into the season? But that's what United are. We're on a knife edge. That's what's happened when you're doing a rebuild. You're going to get pain. There's going to be so much worse than this before it gets a lot better. But I want to know what, where you stand on this. How much blame falls at the feet of Solskjaer and how much blame falls at the feet of Ed Woodward, the Glazers, and the current powers that be at United. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. As always, if you are new to Night People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Till next time, though, take it easy.